Listen, listen to me. Stop as interrupting a me. Used by people where you have to differentiate between the amount of people that it's killed between 40,000 or maybe 120,000. There's just no room for debate there. I, has, you have no Okay, you have has no cynicism of killed anyone? The, the, the philosophical school of cynicism. Has it killed anyone? What? I, has libertarianism as a school of thought killed anyone? The idea no, that because be schools less of thought of are independent of the politicians and politics that are defined using them. I mean, no, Marxism is Lenin historical. Worked with Marx, Lenin worked with Marx. <laughs> Marx was dead twenty years before Lenin was born. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, he was fucking dead. Lenin, who? <laughs> Fucking some, fucking some. Russian you do not know history. Mark. You accuse Marxists of not knowing history when you yourself do not know it. It's a school wrong. of thought. The so, school of thought debates that first of all, the labor theory of value is the only true one. That is to say, that labor defines the value of products. You know how uh, handmade products cost more and factory-made mass-produced ones cost less? That is what Marx developed. Uh, Marx developed the theory I don't think he that... Marx that uh, okay, well, do you know who Adam, Adam Smith... Okay, let me, let me go on a bit of a yes, tangent. Do you Adam know who Adam Smith is? Yes, I know who Adam Smith is in the guiding <laughs> hand of self-interest, uh, self yes. Yes, do you know that Adam Smith literally fucking agreed with Karl Marx on the problems of exploitation in capitalism. Well, I'm not... Okay, first of all, the, you could talk about the exploitation... The time when the, the capitalist system exploits people is when they use things like sweatshops and child labor and slave labor. The capitalist system in itself does, is, does not exploit the worker. I'm sorry. That's, that's what right. Marx oh, argued. What Adam Smith said and proposed is that uh, the ideology of exploitation in uh, capitalism, such as, well, things like sweatshops, cheap labor, uh, borderline slavery, he argued that those things are personal. They are, uh, well, a couple of quote-unquote bad apples in the capitalistic system that will uh, use sweatshops, etc., etc., to get rich. And he criticized this. Marx, on the other hand, considered exploitation an inherent part of the capitalistic mode of production. But it's not. Because but it's not. How, it, how is it not? Okay, uh, it's tell me not. how it's not. How because it? in a true capitalist society, you have two sides working for each other. The the business owner works for the worker. The worker owns for, works for the business owner. Without the business owner providing the means for the worker to do the work, the worker does not have a mean of income. Okay. Unless uh, there is someone okay, there to provide the materials, to provide the factory, to provide the machine, to provide right? the leasing, to provide the licensing, so that the other person well, can not, have really a paycheck. And to assume the risk. That's the other thing. The risk associated with owning a business falls on the business owner, not the worker in a capitalist it society. It literally That's does fall point. on the worker because no, if it the doesn't. company the bankrupts, risk, the worker is left be, uh, behind. They, they don't have a the job. No, 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 it's job different. The, it's different. The, the worker doesn't have a job, but most likely the company has compensated something. But the owner of the company assumes the risk and the debt. The debt does not fall on the worker like it would fall on the It literally does because society. in order to no, pay it, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it he doesn't. studied economics for four years. I don't care if you studied it for six years. You, you, no have economist you would economics? argue. Have you no, studied economics? No, no, econo no economist would argue that in a capitalist society, when a business fails, the worker assumes the debt. Do you know who Marx is? Marx is an economist. Adam Smith is an economist. Friedrich Engels is an economist. Every one of those scientists is an economist and each and every one of them argues that the monopolistic system, which is currently running globally throughout the world, is not capitalistic in the same sense that uh, true competition is. Under true competition, anyone can start a business, anyone can leave a business at any time, and everyone produces goods, and the prices of those goods are decided by the markets. Under the current system, there are only a few actual viable producers. If you try to start uh, a company in 
in the field of distributing goods like Amazon, you're going to get shafted because Amazon is a monopoly. Amazon decides its own prices. Amazon decides how much it pays its own workers. Under what you would call a true capitalistic system, this wouldn't happen. Monopolies wrong. are a different thing. Adam Smith criticized monopolies. Adam Smith criticized landlords. Adam Smith uh, criticized underpaying workers. Every one of those things that you just said a is landlord a is a good misunderstanding thing. of La what why would you is why, what, what, what is wrong with the landlord? I can understand a greedy landlord. I can understand a malintent landlord. But a landlord in itself is not inherently evil. Capitalism in itself is not inherently evil. And the thing about monopolies is the United States has done work to build anti uh, antitrust uh, legislation and break up monopolies to the point where people can start businesses in America and you see it every day and the proof is you you point out Amazon but Amazon's the exact F edifice to your argument because it was started in a garage by a guy who wanted to sell books so we took advantage of the products that were created on a in a capitalist society to get himself out there to build a foundation for himself which then allowed him to build an organization that employs thousands to millions of people globally and provides access to uh, necessities and to uh, commodities to mil hundreds of millions of people every single day on top of that the risk again falls to the owner there's a difference between assuming risk and losing your job yes it sucks when a company goes under and you lose your job but you can find another job but you're not the business owner who's now assuming all the debt of the business that they then have to make up that does not exist under under a communist or marxist society and finally i will say this when you look at all the other the other uh uh, theories and, and uh, uh, economic systems put into place. The only one that produces a net profit for an individual is capitalism. Every other one ends in a net negative and suffering because it relies on exploitation of one class by the government and empowered by the government to do so. Every other one, and this has been proven throughout history, there has not been one other one aside from capitalism to produce a net positive when it comes to economic freedom, when it comes to the ability of the worker to rise up and create something for themselves, and for the ability for the middle class to expand, the upper class to expand, and for there to be fluidity throughout. Okay, let's start from the start. You said there is nothing inherently evil about the worker. Uh, about the landlord, soon, about okay. the landlord. Uh, the landlord, yeah, that, I misspoke. Okay, so, quote, As soon as the land of any country has become all private property, the landlords would love to reap what they have never sold and demand a rent for even its natural produce. Yes. Uh, can you guess who this quote is by? Do you agree with this quote? Do I... Is it... It sounds like it's, it's, it's a warning... That once private land is is divvied out, the, the people start charging rent for it. That's what it sounds like. Well, who do you think said that? I don't know, Adam Smith. Precisely. Do you, okay. Do you know why he said it? Do you know why he said it? Why did he say it? He said it in order to imply that under the monopolistic mode of production, not the competitive, but rather the monopolistic mode of production, even land, which is a natural resource, it does not produce anything. A landlord who charges rent does not produce anything. This is effectively the point of chapter 11 of Adam Smith's... they're Smith providing is, uh, something. They're providing something they're is not producing them. something. Yes, but it's the, still providing a good Okay, uh, let me speak. I didn't interrupt you for like the five right. minutes you, you were talking. You now, you got, you got. do me the same favor. You there is a patch of dirt. You can build a house on there. You can build a ha uh, factory. No one gives a shit. What a landlord does is effectively take this patch of dirt and charge people for using it. 
He doesn't produce anything. He doesn't provide this patch of dirt. He didn't make it in this patch of dirt. This patch of dirt was already there. What he's making is he's taking money from the global economy and putting it into his own pocket. That is what the monopolistic system and the mode of production is about. It is not about equality, as you said. It, it is not about rising up and becoming rich. No, it is about exploiting each and everything that you have access to.